Let's experience for ourselves what it is to be a riding horse. The horse has a diastema in her mouth a toothless margin. We don't have it, but we'll get around that. You need a metal object, such as a tube or a straw. Put it between the lip and gum, down where the teeth already end. Then exert direct constant pressure towards the ears. Or periodic pressure on the gum. Trust me, you won't like the feeling, but you see my face. If you're completely extreme and want to feel like a dressage horse, in whose mouth there is also a curb bit and almost straight iron stick, that has a constant effect in order to forcefully bend the horse's neck with pain force. You can ask someone behind you to constantly press on the stick. Or if you do not have assistance, you can attach two hooks to the stick. Hang bag on the hooks and put some object weighing about one kilogram there. I have a pack of soy milk. And now we put it all on the gum. And try to let go of our hands. To be honest, I couldn't let go of my hands because it hurts incredibly. But horses endure such pain not for one kilogram, but for tens of kilograms and for hours. There is also another way to know what it is when a horse bites the bit. Put the stick on your teeth and push down. You will understand that it does not hurt at all. And indeed, when a horse bites the bit between its teeth, she becomes uncontrollable. As a rule, a horse rushes headlong, putting at risk, including her life and health. And to make it not so convenient for the horse to bite the bit, and for other reasons too, horses often cut off part of their teeth. This is called a bit seat. Open mouth, like that, and get away from pressure with iron. The horse does not allow numerous straps that tightly tie her head and mouth. And if you want to try to be a racehorse, tie your tongue with a nylon tourniquet. But be careful, because veterinarians periodically have to sew tongues together after such classic methods of painful violence.